Shalom. This is um, relating to the um, continuation relating to uh, Russian arrest uh, as as, for, as many as 1,400 anti-war protesters regarding um, the mobilization of 300,000 relating to um, um, troops to be mobilized to go uh, for fight uh, against Ukraine. So you had uh, many people um, go protest against that. Demonstrators, many were arrested, you know, regarding, um, you know, going to serve. Some say, I'm not going to die, man, because the Ukraine war would be equivalent to a Vietnam, unconstitutional, unjustified war, man. So these people are not, a Russian citizens between ages of military age are not going to die, serve and die for, for what they see as an unjust war, man. Just like in Vietnam, man. Articles here. Who mobilizes 300,000 troops for war in Ukraine warns he's not bluffing with a uh, nuclear threat. So that, that bear is being stirred up. Isaiah 13 and 17, man. Russian deserters mobilized will face 10 years in jail. You know, I mean, mil men of military age had to serve one year, man. Under the um, the conscription, man, Russian conscription, man, or the draft law, you know what I mean? They had to serve one year. That's mandatory, man. Between eighteen to twenty-seven, I believe. So ones who are military age, eighteen to sixty, three over three hundred thousand are going to be called, man. So many of people are protesting against this stuff, man. So basically a partial military mobilization, man. Russia has a military draft. Russian men, 1827, are required to serve military for one year. So yeah, they have a military draft. They're required to serve a certain time period, man. Who is exempt from military service? According to the current laws, the citizen exempt from conscription draft, if such, citizen has previously completed military alternate civilian service or in, or as a medical board has been found such, such citizen unfit for service, fit for limited service. So something, you know, medically or otherwise, or they complete it on another level relating to some kind of civil service, then, you know, they will be exempt. Let's continue on, though. So they could face long term for deserters, man, the ones who refuse, man. Ten years. Volunteer surrounding looters are punished by 10 to 15 years in prison. Okay, let's get, um, Let's get Isaiah Shalak. 
13, 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, which are the Russians, against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall they shall not delight in it. So whether well, silver or gold, they're not going to like gold and silver, man. So the Medes that bear is being stirred up. Man. Their bows, which are their weapons, also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall not have no pity upon the fruit of thy womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So they're not going to spare children, young, old, or whatever the case, man. Deuteronomy 28, a fierce countenance that shall not shew young or old. That relates to, relate to the curses, but equate that with ones in power, man. In Babylon, the glory of the um, of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So that's what Babylon is going to be like. Um, like it did Sodom and Gomorrah with, with destruction. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt from the generation to generation, neither the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Revelations 18 talk about that certain, certain merchant city, man. And the wild beasts of uh, the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there. The satire shall dance there. It will not be inhabited again, man. I mean, human aspect. So that's what's going to be left. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a city of heat, man, and desolation, man. So going back to Russia relates to the um, the World War World War um, so related to this um this um Ukrainian war. So the bees are being stirred up, man. We get a few scriptures relating to uh, talk about uh, war or ruling. We go to um, Zephaniah fourteen and twelve, man. Because World War Three. That's a future prophecy, man. That's going to happen. Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is, woe is passed and the third woe has come quickly, man. The third woe is a, is a woe is warning for destruction. So the World War Three is destruction, man. That's to come, man. 9 and 12 talks about uh, the first woe has passed and, and the second and third thereafter, man. So that means World War III World, World War is talking. World War World War one, two, and three are talked about in the scriptures, man. That's Revelations nine and twelve, Revelations eleven and fourteen. Now this is Zephaniah fourteen and twelve. We're going to go to. This relates to um, a scene from a specific movie, man. They probably got this from this scripture, man. And this shall be a plague wherewith, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in, in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And that means, man, that relates to um, termination, a terminator, man. The Terminator, that movie Terminator, with Sarah O'Connor, she had that dream. She was leaning against that fence and seeing the, um, pretty much that mushroom, which is that scroll, form of a mushroom, the radiation coming towards her and melted everything in this path, man. That uh, fervent heat, which melts the elements that melt everything. We'll go with uh, 2 Peter 3 10 through um, on down, man. And that's what that is, man. What's going to melt, pretty much melt everything in this path. Your eye, your face, your your face, your eyes, you know what I mean? It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's a very hor horrific graphic detail, man. But that's a future prophecy, man. That's um, on Zephaniah uh, 14 and 12, man. It's consume away in their holes and their tongues consume away in their mouth, man. So it's going to melt everything. That it comes that comes in the path of that man. These cars here, everything, these trees. Go 
to um, let's go to second address 16. Bro. Second address 16 for the denunciation, public indignation, or something or someone. The horrors in the last days. The Lord's people must prepare for the end. Power and wisdom of the Lord. The impending persecution of the Lord's people and the promise of divine deliverance. It's related to that chapter. The 15 of... Um, So woe be unto thee, Babylon, um, Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria, man. So it's a warning for destruction upon Babylon, Egypt, Syria, all these countries, man, for destruction. Gird yourself with, cl with cloths of sack, be well in your children, and be sorrow for your destruction is hand. The destruction is at hand because horror is going to happen in the last days, man. Part of the horrors is World War III, man. So it's telling you, gird up thy loins, gird up, because destruction is going to come upon, man. And the sword is sent upon you, and it may not turn back. That sword is the missiles, ultimately. It's going to, it's going to fulfill its mark, man. That is sent. It's going to fulfill the purpose of the one who sent it, man. And we'll go down a little bit. The arrows re represents the missiles, man. The fallen stars are them arrows, man, coming down on this place, man. World War III is a future prophecy, man. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers because a lot of... Relating to that draft, man. Your, your husbands are going to be, wives are going to be drafted. So they're not going to be no spouses, man. No helpers, man. That's what it's telling you. In the war shall the, their bridegrooms be destroyed, man. So they're going to die of war, man. That draft, D-R-A-F-T, man. That's the future thing as well, man. So it's telling you right here. In the war shall the bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish a famine. So you seeing why people are are protesting against war. They ain't trying to. These generations are not trying to go to war. They'll die standing up before they'll uh, die um, serving, man. They'll die to resist before they'll die to serve, man. So they not because they don't want they don't want no part of this, man. So that was a few scriptures on that. You know, me in the wars shall the bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. And that's an example, famine and also wars, man. Famine and wars, that's a good example of that, man. And different other calamities that's going to come. For many great miseries shall be in the latter times because they walk greatly in pride. These miseries, these calamities, World War III, famine, uh, Jacob's trouble. A certain one in Revelations 13 and 16 going down specifically. Which is a major, major prophecy, man. And that's going to affect um, pretty much the inhabitants of the earth, man. Woe unto the, um, Revelation 12 and 12. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil's going to come in great wrath, knowing but he has a short time. That Revelation 13 can fall, can comply with that, man. That's going to be, let's just say, it's going to be uh, recommend, recommendedly forcefully mandatory man pretty much recommended that is going to be uh, aggressively mandatory regarding that certain thing in revelations uh, 13 and 16 man. going down and even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come on upon on every side so every side is going to get it you're going to you're not going to escape this man the inhabitants are not going to escape relating to these plagues man part of those plagues the main one is war is those uh, plagues of those missiles man those arrows man or the radiation man you know what i mean relating to um that, that one i was reading um, um zephaniah 14 and 12 man 
based on uh, that movie of Terminator, for example, man. That's going to happen, man. So they're not going to escape from that, man. That's the major plague, man. Um, this 15th chapter talks about uh, vengeance on the wicked um, vengeance on the wicked um, uh, terrifying vision of warfare what's the terrifying vision of warfare World War 3 man judgment on Babylon judgment on, A judgment on Babylon judgment on Asia these other nations pretty much so that's all second uh second address 15 that's what that's talking about man. so a terrifying vision of warfare pretty much the prophet um, um ezra seeing that vision of what's going to happen upon the inhabitants of the earth the many of the earth man the people the inhabitants of the earth go in revelations 12 and 12. you know woe into the woe into the um uh, woe into the inhabitants Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil's gonna come in great wrath, knowing but he has a short time. So that's a warning for the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Pretty much the whole encompass of the people that are inhabited on the earth, man. It's a warning for something specific, man. That's what that is. And for the uh, scripture talks about for the elect's sake, these days have to be sure. For the elect's sake, these days will be sure because if not, there will be no flesh to be saved. World War Three would be a good example of that, man. So it has to be a, a spiritual divine intervention, man, to come and play it. Come come and play for that because of the pretty much the horrors that's going to come, man. Um... So this was something, um, you know, short relating to that continuation of that, because um, that that the needs, man, the bear is being roused, man. He's being roused up, man. You know, and these are, this future thing, little few scriptures talk about things that's going to come, man. A future that things in the future that's going to come to pass, whether people believe it or not. This is Brother Zayab, which means wolf. Hope it helps. Shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yosha Basham Rakakada Shalom.